All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Kendrick TV. And I'm going to do a little promo right here. Hold on. Y'all make sure y'all use this shit right here. As much as you can, even me, as a nigga, you hear me, TJ? As a nigga, I try to do this shit. I try to use this shit as much as I can. I remember one time I fucked a bitch. I had it in my pocket, but I never used it. But use this shit. You bitches crazy. All right. Now, I, you know, I'm not representing the Nuggets. This is the Lakers colors in 2010 type shit. Something like that. You remember when Lakers had the baby blue and the yellow going? That what it is, baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That what it is, baby. You, you feel me? Got the motherfucking L.A. on that bitch, too. Shout out to my R.P. and my nigga Kobe. He the GOAT. But, like, this is my thing. We're going to jump into one of the motherfucking topics. It, it, it's controversial, but it's the truth. You know me. I like to tell the truth, TJ. All right. You know how, like, you'll be dating a female. You'll be talking to a female, right? She'll have a female friend. And the friend will be bad. The friend will be bad, bro. The, the friend will look just as good as the bitch that you're talking to. Is it wrong? If y'all was to have a breakup, right? And but the female claim that she not that means she not that good friends with the other female. What if you end up fucking a friend? What if you end up fucking a friend? Real shit. What if you end up fucking a friend? Is that is that, are you wrong for that? I don't think so. Cause I'll say this. Bro, I remember one time, I was it was two bitches I was talking to. And the other friend wanted me first. The other friend wanted me first. And I was like, ah, I'm like, I don't really want this bitch right now. You know what I'm saying? But once she came with, she said, hey, like, look, I ain't going to lie. The bitch wanted me bad. The bitch wanted me bad. She was like, look, all right, let's be friends benefits. Like, it's going to get out the way. Like, let's be friends benefits. Like, look, I want to give you some pussy. Like, that's how bad I want to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And I ended up fucking the bitch, but like I remember, she was friends with another female that was that I also dated. I dated both of the females. I, I ain't gonna say I dated, but I was fucking around with two females that was friends. Um, I remember when I talked to the bitch, she was like, "Nah, it don't mean shit." Tell me why, bro. It was two females trying to talk to me at the same time. Shout out to my nigga Future. At the same damn time, it was two bitches trying to fuck me at the same time. Um. Tell me why after, I, okay, I, I talked to the other, fee, the first female. I talked to her first. We was fucking around. We was kissing and shit. I, I remember one time I took her home from work. She was like, hey, you going to take me home? I was like, I right, bet. Nigga, she wanted to get the dick that night. I remember they got pulled up. But the thing was, I was cool with her mama, so I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Out of respect. Because it's like, damn, bro, I've been seeing your mama more I've been seeing you. Like when I pull up, nigga, she kicked her seat all the way back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a Maxima, so you know the seat, the seat electric. It ain't like where you gotta press the thing and the motherfucker just fly back. Now it's electric. And she was like, "Man, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna have a good time." You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm looking at this bitch while she let the seat. I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "Nigga, this bitch wants some dick." But I didn't do it, bro, because we was in front of her mama house. They got the little ring light doorbell and shit. Like, I, 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 it just wasn't the right thing to do, bro. But she wanted, she wanted to give me some pussy that night, but I didn't take it because I was like, man, it, it just don't feel right, baby. It just don't feel right. Like, I don't even want to do that. But long story short, it's like when I was fucking with her, after we, we I, what happened was I think we just, we just fell out for some reason. I don't know. I, I can't remember what it was. You remember what it was. Uh, uh, I ain't going to say your name, but you remember what it was. Um, we fell out, and then like she, I started talking to a friend. Nigga, tell me why these two females, they used to kick it a lot. I used to work with these females. They used to kick, we, they used to kick it a lot. Man, these bitches done went against each other just to fuck with me. So am I the bad guy for that? Fuck no. Fuck no. They both wanted to fuck me, nigga. Two females as friends that wanted to fuck me. It's just like, for example, if you a nigga 
and you dating a female, y'all serious than a motherfucker. Say the bitch stay with y'all. If the bitch stay with y'all and she look good, that's a distraction. That's a distraction, bro. I don't give a fuck if your bitch bad. If you see another bad bitch, you're going to be like, damn, man. Like, I mean, I, I, I'm with her every day. This is normal. This bitch ain't here every day. You're going to get to looking at that bitch a kind of way because you're a man. It ain't got nothing to do with because you fuck hella hoes. Just because you're a man, you're going to be like, damn, bro. Like, this bitch look good as fuck. It might, it, it might be one night, nigga. Your girl might be off. And the other girl, she, no, your girl might be working one night. And, the, and her friend might be off work. And then you might be off work. And y'all just chilling at the house. You just cooling, watching TV. You might be watching the game and shit. You know, watching LeBron and shit. Shout out to that nigga LeBron. Y'all might be watching TV, just cooling. And all of a sudden, like, you might end up feeling a bitch. You know what I'm saying? She might end up feeling you because she see you every day. And she like, damn, I really want to give niggas some pussy. If you end up, and then say yo, you end up fucking that bitch one night. Are you wrong for that? I don't think you're wrong. Because, bro, if a bitch is attractive around another bitch that you with, chances are that bitch going to get fucked. Bitch, if you a female that got a friend that's attractive, she's going to get fucked if she's around your nigga. I'm just going to, I'm just being, if, if, if you leave them alone too many times, it's just a matter of time to that nigga fuck her. Or if she want to fuck him. That's how it go, bro. She see him too much. She see him too much. You know what I'm saying? But bitches don't want to get into that parameter because, bro, think about it. I didn't had two females. They done fucked up their whole friendship just to fuck with me. I ended up fucking with both of them. I could have fucked the other girl, but I didn't do it. But I fucked the other one. Thank you, baby, too. That, that, that pussy was good. I would fuck you again, but you in a relationship right now. Whenever you get single, hit my line. I got your number. I got your number. Just call me. I give you that dick on speed dial. Call me on what niggas you say back in the day. Just call me on. I got you on speed dial. Just hit the. You know how back in the day when motherfuckers say your number on speed dial instead of dialing your number, they just hit one button. This one nigga had the flip phone. You just hit one button and then they call so and so. Call me. But boy, this shit tastes good. Uh. Strawberry banana, by the way. But the thing is, bro, it's like, what does that say about both of the females? And I can't say nothing necessarily bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just, bro, I had two females that were great friends. Like, these bitches used to kick it every day. I be seeing them at work. Nigga, they chilling with each other. They talking to each other. They hanging out with each other outside of work. Got a great, got a great friendship. But they both was attracted to me. Am I wrong for fucking both of them? That's up to y'all to think. To me, I don't think I did wrong. I think I did right. It's two women. It's, I'm a nigga at the end of the day. I ain't like these simp ass niggas. Bro, if a bitch want to give you some pussy, she want to give you some pussy. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Them bitches end up breaking their whole friendship up just to fuck with me, bro. And I fuck with both of them. What does that say about them? Not me, because I'm a nigga, bro. Um, as a man, you can be the most faithful nigga on earth. You still gonna fuck another bitch? I've known niggas that done date. I know niggas that done dated bitches for five years plus, and they still done cheated on the bitch. They still cheated on the bitch. What does that say about the bitch? It it don't say nothing. You wanna tell you why? Because as a nature of a man, it don't matter how loyal you are, my nigga, temptation will take over. And you'll end up fucking another bitch, bro. It don't matter how perfect you are, bro. Bitch be acting like a, a, a nigga gonna just hold a bitch down and not fuck another bitch. If another bitch come around and she just looking good and shit like that, bro, you gonna wanna fuck with her, bro. Real shit. You gonna wanna fuck with her. Real shit. That's how the game go. But let me, okay, let me go on this shit, though. Now, this is a serious topic. When it comes to sex trafficking, because I remember roughly about, like, in, in 2021, this shit was still going on. 
where it'll be a nigga, it'll be, it'll be niggas riding around in a van. And they be kidnapping bitches, bro. They be kidnapping bitches and they be raping them. So I'm going to just put y'all females on the game. Anytime y'all go grocery shopping, y'all go to your local grocery store, and you got a nigga outside trying to say, hey, you know, do you, you want to try my perfume? I got some perfume for you to try. And then they spray it. But I ain't talking about it, a fucking, uh, when you go to the, this ain't like the mall. This ain't like the mall. When you go to the mall and then motherfuckers be spraying the shit on a piece of paper and they tell you to smell it. If a nigga try to tell you, hey, smell this perfume that I got for you and he spray it for you outside of a motherfucking grocery store and tell you to smell it, don't do that shit because bitches done got drugged. This shit done happen a lot in 2021 especially. I'm just telling you bitches still stay alert for motherfuckers on sex trafficking because it, it used to be niggas riding around in vans. And then they'll have the fucking, the, it, it won't have a window at the back. The shit be covered up. You watch out for a nigga. If you a female, you never, don't even talk to a nigga if he walk up to you in a fucking parking lot and you at the grocery store shopping for your kids or fucking just doing just regular shit, just grabbing shit for, for the grocery store, whatever, hair supply, whatever. If you a female and you see a nigga say, hey, can you try my, you want to try my perfume that I got for you? Don't fuck with that nigga. He trying to drug your ass. The shit these niggas be having on this fucking spray, and nigga be that motherfucking, what they call that shit? It's not, it's not, it's chloroform. It's chloroform. A nigga, a nigga say, smell this perfume, and it be chloroform on a motherfucking sheet paper that they want you to smell. Knock the bitch right out, and they raping the bitch. And then the bitch gonna miss him for two months, and then you'll look in Walmart and they'll say, so and so missing, been missing for about three weeks. For y'all females, for y'all safety, stay away from niggas that do that. That do that type of shit. If a nigga say he want, if you want to smell some perfume, hey, you want to check out my business. If if it don't feel right, don't fuck with the nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you for for, for the female safety. You know what I'm saying? Because I care about the females, bro. As much as I be talking shit about him, TJ, I give a fuck about the female population because it be a lot of niggas. They be rape because like also for y'all bitch ass niggas, they be raping these bitches. Y'all don't get no pussy. I, I gotta go ahead and bash these niggas real quick, TJ. For the nigga that they have to put chloroform on a bitch to try to make the bitch go to sleep, knock the bitch out. You a bitch ass nigga. Bitch, I nigga, I'll knock your ass out, nigga. I beat your ass, nigga. I beat your motherfucking ass, nigga. You a hoe ass nigga. You can't get no bitches, nigga. That's why you doing that shit. You ain't got no game, nigga. You ain't got no real pimping in your game, nigga. You don't know how to talk to a bitch. You a, you a hoe ass nigga. I know niggas that did that shit before. It's niggas that I done went to school with. They done rape bitches because they couldn't pull them. They was mad because they couldn't take the bitch. That's another topic. Niggas that can't take rejection. This is a very big, this is a serious topic, TJ, bro. Stop, stop laughing, bro. <laughs> Stop laughing, bro. I'm being for real, bro. Look, I, TJ, I done seen you talk to plenty of bitches and females done turned you down. I get more bitches than you, but still, I'm just saying, my nigga, it's females that it's fucked up, bro, because I done seen too much shit. Niggas be real deal mad when a bitch turn them down. That's not normal to me, bro. You know what I mean? Nigga, nigga, okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this, bro. Where, where I'm from, my, my region, I'm from Palm Bluff, Arkansas. When I was in the 10th grade, nigga, I was talking to bitches that turned me down all the time. And a nigga had a flip phone. Nigga, my phone service was cricket. You feel me? Bitches turned me down numerous occasions. I never had a, a, a thought in my mind to be like, nigga, I want to rape this bitch. I've never had that thought in my head. Even when the, I'm talking about, I done walked up to some of the baddest bitches and said, hey, shit, what you doing? Spit in my game. And she'd be like, nah, I ain't rocking with it. It'd be some niggas out here, when a bitch turned them down, they'd be like, oh, bitch, you don't want me? I'm going to take your life. You a whole ass nigga. Any nigga that think like that, you a whole ass nigga, bro. 
Nigga, I hope when you go to jail, niggas beat your ass every fucking night. Nigga, I beat your ass I was in that motherfucking nigga. Real shit. No cap. I beat your ass, nigga. If you a nigga that try to take advantage of a female, I don't agree with that shit, bro. That's some pussy shit. You ain't player, nigga. You a bitch. A lot of these, that's another thing, TJ. A lot of these niggas be bitches, bro. Y'all niggas be acting like bitches. Be gossiping and shit. Some niggas be getting mad when a bitch turn them down. I ask them about, hey, bro, what happened with so-and-so? Man, fuck that bitch, man. That bitch, man, fuck that bitch. That bitch a hoe, bro. All because that bitch didn't want to give him their number. Bro, it's a, it, baby, look. I, I appreciate you, baby. You hear me? I still fuck with you to this day. I'm going to tell you about a part of my rejection. I don't remember. This is a female that I've been knowing for years with an S. Nigga, we was cool. Nigga, I remember she fucked around, gave me the military discount. Shout out to you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Taco Bueno was good. I appreciate you for giving me a hug. I still fuck with you to this day, baby. You know what I'm saying? I DM'd you. I was like, damn, girl, you looking good. You know what I'm saying? You you always kept it. You always kept it real with me. Even I remember you, you remember, you remember when I tried to get your number and you was like, you was like, nah, I'm okay with that. I'm cool. And I was like, all right, shit, that's straight. That's straight. I still fuck with her. You see what I'm saying, TJ? If you if you a real if you a real one, even if a bitch don't give you her number, if y'all already done built y'all relationship up for years, bro, why this female not giving you her number gonna fuck up the whole shit that y'all built? You been knowing this bitch for damn near 670 days. Why would you why would you act like a bitch now? Like, bro, nah, what about all them other times when the bitch came through for you, nigga? You feel me? But niggas don't think like that. It be niggas so weak-minded. When a bitch turn them down, they think that's the end of the world. They Niggas be out here trying to kill bitches because they didn't want to fuck with them. They didn't want to give them their number. They didn't want to give them some pussy. You a hoe-ass nigga. Y'all some hoe-ass niggas, nigga. Y'all some hoe-ass niggas. Real shit. A man that can't take a rejection. Nigga, I be getting rejected by so many bitches, nigga. And I still shoot my shot, nigga. That bitch that, that I shot my shot at when she was at the bank, that bitch didn't follow me back on Instagram. I, I, I ain't even gonna trip. I ain't even gonna trip because you know what? If you think like a heterosexual male, nigga, fuck it. I just talk to the next bitch. But niggas don't think like that. Niggas think this is my first and last chance to deal with a bitch. Don't even, not, not even knowing it might be a blessing. It might be God saying, nah, bro, this ain't the bitch for you. I'm going to bless you with another female. But still fuck with this one because she a real one. You've seen what this bitch done done for you. The average bitch ain't done the shit that this bitch done done for you, even on a, on a work level. Why would I fuck that up? Why? You know what I'm saying? So, okay, look, bro. On another topic, but y'all females, y'all stay safe, bro, because I, I hate that y'all females got to go through this type of shit because it's like, bro, it be fucked up because some bitches, they'll give a nigga a number, they'll give a, a nigga their number because they feel kind of scared, they feel pressured, they feel peer pressured in a way, like the nigga be forcing himself up on the bitch. I ain't never going to, I'm, I'm damn right like a pimp, It's if a bitch fuck with me, it's by choice, not by force. I'm not going to force a bitch to fuck with me because the situation not going to work out organically. If you're forcing a bitch to fuck with you, it's not going to work. It's going to end in shambles. I'm telling you, bro. Now, in the past, I ain't never tried to rape no bitch. Don't, don't, get, don't, don't get that twisted. You feel me, TJ? I tried, to fuck, I tried to force fucking with a bitch. And I was like, damn, bro, this shit really ain't working. I'm wasting my time. You feel me? So I had to go ahead and fall off. But if you fucking with a bitch, if they fuck with you, they're going to show it. Their actions is going to show that they fuck with you. If a female don't fuck with you, she's going to let you know. But if some females, they'll fuck with you, bro, just not on that level. Maybe years down the road, they'll fuck with you on that level. So don't get mad, bro. Sometime I might be like, man, you know what? I'm going to take this shit as in God telling me, nah, nah, bro. Not right now. This ain't the female for you right now. Fuck with another one. Still fuck with her, though, because y'all done built up a good relationship, a good friendship. Don't fuck this up. Just because she told you no, 
I'm still cool with this bitch to this day, nigga. Hey, baby. I got, I got a t-shirt for you. I got a t-shirt for you. You know what I'm saying? I, I got it made in your color, too. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I saw you had a great time this, this past weekend. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. But, like, what I'm saying is, bro, it's like, as a man, bro, real shit, as a man, you have to take rejection, bro. It's, I'm not being funny, but it's a real comparison. Think of Johnny Bravo, the cartoon. We all watched this shit as a kid. Even you, Pooh Bear. We all watched this shit as a kid. Johnny Bravo, believe it or not, the moral of the story is Johnny Bravo, he was a young nigga that tried to get bitches, and bitches steady turned him down. And, and, and he was a nigga that, you know, looked pretty good. No homo pause. You know what I'm saying? But he was a nigga. He was one of them handsome niggas that tried to get a bitch every time. You know what I'm saying? And bitches be turned down. But guess what? Johnny Bravo kept talking to every other bitch. He didn't stop. It's the same game as a male. Don't be no nigga out here with, with bitch tendencies. You mad because a bitch don't want you. Nigga, if you real, you going to fuck with the next bitch, nigga. Y'all whole ass niggas. Niggas, like, I never understood the logic of a nigga that wanted to rape a bitch. Why the fuck you want to rape a bitch, nigga? You not player to me, nigga. You a little nigga. I beat your ass, nigga. You a little nigga. You a little nigga. If you, you, mentally, you're not on my level if you're trying to rape a bitch. If you can't take rejection, you're not on my level. I done got turned down by some of the baddest bitches, nigga. But guess what? Later on down the road, I'm fucking with some of the bitch, some of the baddest bitches. And then the bitch will spin the block on a nigga and come back. Even better, the situation be better than was before. I fuck with the bitch. Just because I kept it player. Keep it player, my nigga. Don't beg a bitch. The bitch just might have too much shit going on. I'm talking about it depends on the situation. I'm not seeing every bitch. I know if you a nigga in a relationship, if you a nigga in a full-blown relationship, and then the bitch, if, if the pattern of y'all get to changing up, okay, that's different. The bitch might be fucking with another nigga, but I'm talking about if you just friends with a bitch, because a lot of times a nigga be thinking that he's dating a bitch and he's not. Niggas be like, nah, bro, that's my girl, bro. But then when you ask the girl, nah, that's not my nigga. I don't, I don't fuck with him like that. We cool. Like, that's not my nigga. But it be niggas out here, bro. They be thinking, they thinking they talk to the bitch now. Stop simp dipping. Stop, stop tender dicking, nigga. This is another thing. It's just like. I hate when niggas say, bro, these hoes for everybody, right? Niggas don't even mean that shit. Niggas don't even mean that shit, TJ. I done had motherfuckers that I know of that was like, hey, bro, man, you can fuck that bitch, bro. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, she for everybody. As soon as I fucked that bitch, it became a problem between me and the other guy. It became a problem. Real shit. I'm just being real. It became a problem, but the nigga said, if you a nigga that's going to preach that, be about it. If you say, bro, these hoes for everybody, and then I say, hey, bro, I can fuck that bitch. I, he said, yeah. So you know what I did? I went and did that shit. Now, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say your name, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I still fuck with you to this day, bro. You done blessed me with so many fucking mixed drinks, nigga. But he pulled some whole shit. He was like, bro, you really try to talk? Bro, you told, bro, you told me, bro. She, she really need to fuck with somebody else, bro. I don't give a fuck with somebody. I don't give a fuck if you fuck with her, bro. I don't care. So when I did the shit, I really did it. I tried to smash this bitch a couple of times, nigga. I remember it was one time, nigga, she hit me up. Talking about some, hey, do you got a bottle? I want to I chill with you. I want to talk to you. It just, I couldn't smash the bitch because... One of her friends, she didn't want to have no company. You know what I'm saying? She was chilling with one of her friends one night. They couldn't really, she didn't really like people that had companies on some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But it just goes to show you, bro. A nigga say these hoes for everybody, whatever bitch they fucking with, but they be tender dicking, low key. Don't say a bitch for everybody and you really love the bitch. If you in love with the bitch, just say that. Say, hey, nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really fuck with this bitch, bro, because. Don't say something and you don't stand on it. Stand on it. Nigga, if I told the bitch that you can fuck my bitch, I mean it. But if it's bitch, I'd be like, hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, she on my roster, nigga. Like, I can't let you do that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But 
it be in times where I didn't seen too I didn't seen too many niggas, TJ, where they be like, man, they use a fuck that bitch. They don't give a fuck about that bitch. Man, fuck that bitch, bro. As soon as I fuck her, niggas come up to me, bro. What the fuck you doing, bro? Why you smash my girl? Nigga, you this your girl now? You just told me this pussy for the game. But that's how niggas be, bro. Niggas be tender digging, bro. I ain't never, I ain't never been to a point to where I want to fight another nigga because he fucked a bitch and I know of. I didn't had a nigga that I knew of that fucked a bitch that I knew of, but I was already done with the bitch, bro. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm fucking with other bitches. Real shit. But niggas want to make this shit into a big fucking, uh, what do you call it? What, what's the word, bro? Niggas want to turn this shit into a problem, bro. But it ain't even a problem, my nigga. It's like the bitch said she want to give up some pussy. And you said, hey, bro, go ahead and fuck that bitch. All right, so when I fuck her, it's a problem. But you told me I could. So why are you mad? Nigga, you going against your word. Stand on what you said. Stand on what you said, my nigga. Niggas fuck bitches every day. I know niggas that fuck. Man, look. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. I ain't even gonna do it, bro. I'm gonna just change the topic, TJ, because that, that, that shit can get deep. It can get deep. But a lot of times, a nigga can't stand when another nigga fucking this bitch. They can't stand that for some reason. But you just said you don't give a fuck about this bitch. These niggas be loving these hoes, nigga. These niggas be loving these hoes. Because the minute, the minute you fuck another nigga bitch, when you really fuck another nigga bitch, and a nigga say you could do it, they feel some type of way. Niggas want to fight you. Niggas want to do all this other shit. But you just said you ain't give a fuck about this bitch, nigga, knowing you really give a fuck about this bitch. If this your girl, just say it. But a lot of times, niggas don't want to say, bro, this really my girl, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. But they don't want to say that shit. Niggas want to put on the front. You put on a mask, nigga. Niggas that know me personally, they'll let, I tell you, I'll be like, bro, look. Nigga, this, this bitch, this is just a bitch I'm fucking, bro. If you fuck this bitch, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Real shit. Now, on, now we're going to change it, TJ, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a touchy subject. On a closing topic. Y'all bitches with these fake pages. Hit me up. Talking about some, hey, baby, can you be my sugar daddy? Can you be my sugar daddy? I'll pay you $1,300 a week if you just come and fuck me real good. And, and and talk to me and text text me all day and call me. Bitch, you a nigga. What female really want a sugar? Now, don't get me wrong. I say probably about 13% of y'all hoes for real. I know niggas that's acting like they bitches on Instagram with fake pages. They done screenshotted a fucking Instagram model from IG that everybody damn near know. And they'll create a damn near, oh, this is my secondary page. This your secondary page? But then the bitch on the main Instagram will say, look, don't follow this page. This person fake. But I don't know why. But it's niggas that believe the shit really real. Bro, I didn't have about, bro, within the past fucking three years, bro, I didn't have about 20 different accounts. Bitches hit me. I'm talking these fake Instagram models. You fake Instagram model bitches. All you bitches are screenshotting other Instagram models' pages and creating pages. You you saving the screenshot and you posting it on your page, making it seem like it's you. Yes, I'm gonna expose you, motherfuckers. I'm tired of y'all fake ass niggas hitting me up. Nigga, you gay. You wanna fuck another nigga? Nigga, I remember one time, nigga, I had a motherfucker add me on fucking uh, Instagram, and then you know me. You know me, TJ. I want to see if the bitch real or not. I said, add me on Snapchat. She was like, I said, uh, I add the motherfucker. I want to see your live picture. I don't want to see the purple square. Well, the purple square good too, but they done tweaked the game now. But let me get back to the topic. I was like, send me a picture of you live. Like, the, the, I want to see the red circle. They didn't send me that. The motherfucker sent me a picture. In the message, they sent me a picture from their camera roll. Oh, this bitch is playing with camera roll? All right, you fake. I'm talking about some. I asked this motherfucker, I said, uh, I was like, hey, shit, what you doing? She was like, uh, nothing, just in the city trying to suck some dick. I was like, oh. 
you a nigga. You a nigga. Bro, it be niggas out here trying to act like they a bitch just to finesse a nigga to get some money. Y'all better keep y'all antennas up. Niggas be doing this shit now. Niggas weird, bro. Niggas are weirdos. Niggas are with niggas that really can't get bitches, they're weirdos. They'll do anything to try to get some pussy. And the shit weird, bro. Like, damn, bro, you you that down bad to where you gotta create a fake page, act like you a female to meet up with a nigga and you a catfish. Man, niggas get killed behind this shit. Real shit. Man, look, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That that shit, it, it that that ain't that ain't that ain't the right play, my nigga. Just like how y'all niggas be raping these females, bro. These females are innocent, bro. A female is not a nigga. They're not masculine. Y'all niggas got to take control over a bitch just to fuck them. You a pussy. You a bitch. You a bitch. You a bitch ass nigga. You hear me, TJ? Even you, Pooh Bear. If a nigga got to, if a nigga got to try to rape a bitch or take control of her, you a bitch. If you a nigga that got to make a bitch feel uncomfortable just to make you feel good, you a whole ass nigga. That's facts, nigga. You a whole ass nigga. You ain't got no game. You don't get bitches, nigga. I get bitches, nigga. I pull them for real, nigga, from the mouth, nigga. You gotta, you, you gotta have perpetrate. You gotta act like something you not. Nigga, what I am, I say. Whatever I done said, I done did it, nigga. No cap, nigga. The bitches already know about me. I done had bitches that I try to talk to, bro, in the city. They be like, Girl, don't talk to that nigga. That nigga Kendrick, he done fucked so and so. Uh, she she done fucked her boy. She was uh dating. A, she was with her nigga, and she done cheated on him. But that's in the past. You feel me? Bitches still bringing up the shit that I done in the past because bitches already know I done fucked hella bitches. Bitches already know about me. I done put that real ism down. I ain't no pimp, but I'm a player ass nigga. No cap. You know what I'm saying? But look, I just want to say this, man. For y'all niggas that can't take rejection, y'all some hoe-ass niggas. If you a man that can't take rejection, you're a hoe-ass nigga. Because I done got turned down by a lot of bitches, nigga. A lot of bitches. And I ain't never got to the point where I want to rape a bitch. Nigga, I wouldn't even go. I, I can't even sleep at night knowing I done raped a bitch, nigga. You a bitch-ass nigga. And you know what I'm talking about. Because a lot of y'all niggas do this shit. You're not used to getting turned down, nigga. So fuck that shit, nigga. I'll fuck your bitch, nigga. All right, I'll fuck all your bitches, nigga. Man, fuck that shit. Thank you for watching another episode of Kidrick TV. I thank all the subscribers, man. Y'all, man, look. Y'all are y'all been following nigga for years, bro. So I appreciate y'all. I owe y'all this. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say this. Like, follow my Instagram, Kendrick Edition underscore. Hit the cash app, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to bless a nigga, Kendrick, dollar sign, Kendrick edition. TJ and Pooh Bear, bro, I need y'all niggas to get me a cheesecake or some shit. Or like, order some pizza, bro, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. How, how much y'all niggas got on the cash app? I had cash up y'all niggas like 30 or some shit like that, bro. I heard Domino's got a deal going. When you type in a code and shit, you get like 20% off. I'm saying like, but put pineapple and Canadian bacon on it because they fucked up my last order. All right, bet, 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 bet. I'll I pay y'all niggas, pay y'all niggas tomorrow, bro. I'll pay y'all niggas tomorrow. All right, man. Go to Edition. Kid TV. Tune in.